Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to organize your data in Google Docs, you're in the right place. I'm going to show you how to create a matrix. So let's check it out. The first step we want to take is go up onto insert on our ribbon. We want to go down to table and we want to insert a table. Now I'm going to use the five by one. However, you can use it whichever way suits you best. What we're going to do here is under format, we're going to go and look for table. And here we're going to look for table properties right at the bottom of this menu. Now on the right hand side here, you can define everything that you need to define about your table. So what we want to do is our very first cell and our very last cell, we want to make sure that it's the same size. So as you can see here, we have this one here and you can see the column width. We are going to make 1.5. We are also going to the last one and we are going to select the column width and we're going to make it 1.5 and then we're going to hold in shift. We're going to select these three. So this one, this one, and this one column width, and we're going to make this three. Now we can make it four. We can make it whatever value we want it to be. All right. We can customize this however we would like. Once we're done, we're going to go close that and look for the color item. And here you'll see the border. We're going to make this three points. We're going to keep it black. And here inside here, we are going to add values to the actual table. Once we've added values, make sure that you've selected inside your table. You're going to hold in shift and we are going to select these borders that we would like to remove. OK, so let us do as such. We can select this one as well and we can select this one. We can also select this one and we can select this one on your menu ribbon. You will see a pencil. It's the border color. We want to go ahead, use the drop down menu and make our border color white. So it will not be seen. You'll click away. This is what your table will now look like. Again, you can continue to format this table. Just click inside here. Your table properties will be here. You can adjust how your values are seen within your table and um, you can change everything else about the properties of your table. If this was helpful, drop us a like. We'll see you next time. Peace.